G'day folks, how you going? Thank you so much for joining me on another vlog this week. Today, we're gonna be revamping this pie enclosure. So in saying that, I reckon it's time to tuck into this pie. This is Martin. Martin's pie. It's a good pie. The pies want my pie. They might steal a part of my pie. <laughs> now my goal is to actually redo all the furnishings in here today. Give her a good clean. Now I've actually already started. I've emptied out the water bowl, also done a bit of spray on it, which is a disinfectant, back tip, blah, 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 all that sort of fun stuff. We've got to get some brows in here, mate. Fill up that water bowl again, make her look pretty. She's gonna be hunky dory, I reckon. And one day, one day, if you guys follow, comment enough, and we're building our world domination plan, we actually might make this enclosure a little bit bigger, or a lot bigger, or even a whole new location. Mm. I don't know. Sounds like a bloody good idea to me, doesn't it, Jerry? Let's get a couple of tools so we're planned, prepared. Dodge, dive, duck, and dodge. Yes, Mackie P. Only the best. King Chrome. Ooh, car builders. Mwah. Take this. Some cable tie cutters. Ah, do I need anything else? Ah, maybe I'll just put this in my car later. Maybe I'll put this in my car later. Oh, it's locked. We'll have to get back to it later. Nah, joking. Let's tear apart this mothership right here and we'll make a new better one. Or just a different one. Might not be better. Let's be honest. It's not the right one, but it gave me the wrong one. Look, you know what's been frustrating? Over the last bloody couple of days, you know, the folks are gone out. You guys saw this on the like, most recent vlog. And like, everything's changed. I know, look, I'm having a winch. It's a minor inconvenience, all of these things, but whatever, okay? Look, yes, got a roof over heads, got running water, yes, yes, yes. But honestly, the annoying thing that makes my day become 15 times longer is not knowing where stuff is. Oh, it's so infuriating. Or like getting something and then a part of it not working. Ooh, I'd rather stub my toe. I have it, Jelly. I have it. I have it. Excuse me, excuse me. Wait, not all the way. Whoa, might need two hands. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I swear there was a button screw tonight in this piece of timber. And I can't see it. <gasps> Where the hell is it tonight? We can see it, people. Where is the zit on three? Has she just been driven right? No, no. That's it, take me to a clinic. I'm losing my mind, folks. Can you see that? Can, can anybody else help me here? Crikey. <laughs> Look at this baton screw. It's about as straight as me. <laughs> Can you see it? It's like you. <laughs> I've already said this. Oh. <laughs> Tell you guys that I want to be a Mardi Gras host one day. True. Comment what you reckon. 
so I had to start without you. The phone, the camera uh, needed a bit of a charge. So I've just got a couple of things up. I still haven't fixed everything, but Wendy is loving this new perch. Uh, I've got a really nice solid straight stick here. No idea where it bloody came from, but. So I've got a cable tie her up to make sure nothing falls. Um, I've got this big log that is beautiful. Got to fix her up there. Good to have these logs in this enclosure because we have quite the rat problem. This enclosure is rodent proof and uh, you know, it will just produce any sort of bug life to walk in there and magpies can just get some sort of natural food as well. This is just a funky stick. It is so cool, I love it. Love the creativity, love all the swells and the twirls and the quells. I don't even know if quells is a word, but we'll go with it. Uh, and it's looking beautiful. So now we just gotta get the water, figure out what we wanna do with the rest of this stuff. I want a bit of room for activity, you see. So I can do a bit of training in this, in this area. And then the birds also have that room to fly. You get what I'm saying? You get what we, you know what? You're just gonna have to bloody take me word for it, okay? We, uh... Just in the magpie equation. What do you think, Wendy? Looking good? Coming together, girl? Okay, update on the pie enclosure. I, I have digressed for quite some time. I needed to stop and had a meeting, and now we're back. So I've got some branches which I've cut down, some old lily pillies up here, and I'm gonna cut them up into suitable branches to go into the enclosure. She is gonna look schmick. Check it out. Well, I'll take you around to check it out in a second. But it looks bloody fantastic. You know, moving all the furnishings around and mixing up a little bit is... Excuse me, I'm trying to say something. I'm trying to explain something to the folks. I know you're probably not in view right now, but you can on right in front of the camera and the music, the sound's probably picking you up. So can you please stop? What was I saying? Mixing up the furniture, uh, fur <laughs> furnishes in here and putting these browns in is always really good for mixing up the enrichment and entertainment for these really smart animals. Let me show you around. So there we have it folks, the enclosure is done, the magpies are happy, actually they could be happier because I need to feed them. But number one, I should have made a bloody spot for the camera to sit because this whole time, this, the, the, the thing that goes on the camera, it, it's not, it's not a good thing for anywhere. You know, it's not like, like those weird little bendy bead things. You know, I'm not talking about those type of bendy bead things. But anyway, now I'm having to bend over like this and the birds are like, what the bloody hell is going on? Anyway, I'm gonna feed him some cheat tucker today uh, because this is what happens when you bring the whole tub of food in. We're psychopaths. No, no. Patience, my boy. You are not patient. Back up here. Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, can we change our body language, please? Wendy, oh my god, you are so rude. Since when do you push Jerry around? Jerry, Jerry, I don't want you on the ground, honey. Come on, back up here. Come on. Up here. 
Come on, we can share on the same branch. Good job. Here. Stop wiping your food on. And you ruined it. Not him. The other bird you can't see. Don't ruin it, Jerry. Stop. Stop. Stop being like this. Wendy, can you come over here, sweetie? Come on over here. Wendy, step up. Step up. Be nice. Come on, I always won't feed you. Come on. Quick. <gasps> Alright. <laughs> They're fed. Their enclo enclosure looks immaculate. Well, I'm pretty happy with it. Are you, Jerry? We can just gaze into our, each other's eyes if you really want. Hello. Yes, you are. You are so beautiful. No matter what they say, posties can bring you down. But you can bring them down, no. All right. Oh, I've got a surprise for you guys to end this video today because it's been a bloody well. Look, if it hasn't been a bloody well win for you and a bloody mess, it has for me. Wendy, I'm Maddie. See you, love. You have anything to say to your fans? Do not do it. See kids, Uru. Let's uh, go show you guys this little surprise. <gasps> Pit stop, back at home. <laughs> Hello, Muzzy Man. I want to quickly chat about two topics uh, before I show you the surprise. Uh, you're nibbling me, Eddie, too. I can feel it. I can feel it. There you are. Yep, that's me. Thanks, girl. Number one, guys. You guys know that I have dingoes. I have three wide-born dingoes at home. Uh, this is one of them. This is my coolie, not a dingo, just to let you know. And you can also see this couch behind me. It's not so much of a couch. Couch. This is not our couch. This is the dingo couch. There's many reasons why I don't suggest dingoes as pets. They're, they're really hard to keep, guys. They're very time-consuming. They're not good pets. They really aren't. If you want a dog, get a dog. Please don't think that anybody can have a dingo. Like, honestly, I struggle sometimes. I really do. Which is why I'm building a dingo and goes, <laughs> that's not the secret. But I will show you guys that at some stage. Now, my next big point is this. this massive, big passion fruit vine. It's so awesome. Now, I love this passion fruit vine for so many different reasons. I know you guys might be a bit bored of this topic already, but I feel like a lot of people should get reconnected with their food. And as silly as it sounds, look, Bridgie and I have been doing shows for quite some time now, and we really see a big difference between kids that grow up in rural areas or more populated areas. So guys, remember, our food comes from our, our ground our earth what we put into it is what uh, goes into us so at home you know to help conservation help the future of the planet which i am constantly asking myself what else we can do to make the future a better place and that is grow your own food come on guys it's so easy they used to do it a long time ago there's no reason why we can't do it now even if that's just one thing you get a passion fruit vine going poor look at this dog just comment down below what sort of things do you do you have at home growing also if you can't grow your own food instead of shopping from those big dogs like woolies or coles Go to your local farm, or your produce store. Go, get up to your Sunday markets. Make sure you, as a consumer, are doing your best to propel this world into a better place into the future. All right, surprise time. Is there a surprise here? I'm there surprised. will be one. Woo. Surprise! Whoa! <laughs> Look at this little dude. This is the surprise for you guys. This little fella is a little jungle carpet python. Yep, we actually have quite a few species of, well, subspecies of carpet pythons here in Australia. Here in the northern rivers of the north coast, we have a coastal carpet python, but this little dude is a little bit different. Kind of like me and Bridge. We're pretty similar, but we're pretty different all at the same time, right? On that note, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for coming with me for another vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh! I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and the magpies and I hope you guys will enjoy hanging out with me and this little fella in the future. We'll see you next time. We'll have to see the next vlog what we name her. Yeah, that's it. See you guys, Eru. Woohoo! And can you please give us some name suggestion ideas? Comment down below.